everybody and welcome to How To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. This video is going to focus on the definitions for populations and samples and a few examples. This is part of a massively open online textbook and video format for the introduction to statistics. For more information, check out mathandstatistics.com. So let's get started with the idea of what is a population. Uh, a population in statistics represents the entire group of interest, the entire group that you're going to be performing research on or collecting data from. The population depends 100% on the research being conducted and it always contains every single possible member of the group being affected by the research or part of the research of interest or, or so on. So some examples of possible populations might include all people with heart disease. And this population might be useful for, say, a medical research group that's conducting research on medications that help people who have heart disease. And so their population of interest would be all people uh, with heart disease. A second example might be all male students between the ages of 18 and 25. For example, a university might be creating a special scholarship program for male students uh, between the ages of 18 and 25, and they might be investigating different methods for doing that. And so their population of interest, again, would be all male students between the ages of 18 and 25. A third example might be all female nurses who have worked at least two years as a nurse. Uh, in this case, for example, a community might be interested in what nurses' perceptions are of the medical profession and of the medical community, but they only want to interview female nurses and they only want to interview female nurses who have worked at least two years as a nurse. And so because of these uh, specifics in their research, their population of interest is all female nurses who have worked at least two years as a nurse. And so you're already seeing that a population is very specific to the group of interest. Uh, depending on the research being conducted or the data being collected. Another example might be all dogs older than age three. So here you might be working with a zoologist who is interested in behaviors or different nutritional aspects that are helping dogs who are of a certain age. And so their population of interest would be all dogs older than age three in this case. Another population might be just all people. So there's a lot of research out there that affects every single one of us. And in that case, the population is in fact just all people in the entire world. And this might be larger things such as how smoking affects our health, how diet affects our health, and so on. Another example might be all rabbits. Again, you might be working with a zoologist who is interested in different uh, feeds that help rabbits to live a longer and uh, more comfortable life. And so that person's population of interest in their research is all rabbits. Finally, another example, all female adults. So there is a lot of research out there uh, that deals with, for example, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and things of this nature. The population of interest for that type of research is all female adults. So as you can see here, a population always deals with every single member of that particular group of interest. And it always specifies what group you're interested in. It can be extremely broad, like all people. Or it can be extremely specific, like all female nurses who have worked at least two years as a nurse. As long as the population contains every single member of your group of interest, it is considered a population. Now a sample, on the other hand, is a collection gathered from a given population. A sample is always smaller, often very much smaller, than the actual population that it's collected from. Samples are generally collected from populations so that research can be performed on that population, but without having to do research on every single member of the population. You can imagine that if your research, for example, affected all humans, that's over 7 billion people at the time of this, uh, this recording. 
So there's really no way to do research on 7 billion people. But there is a way to take a sample of people, do your research on that sample, and then make an inference about the results from that research and how they might affect the population. The word statistic is often associated with the word sample, and you'll often see the word parameter associated with the word population. So when you have a population of interest, such as, let's say, all female adults, a population parameter might be the mean height of all female adults. That's a parameter. A parameter always describes the entire population. So the mean height for the entire population would actually be very difficult to discover because we're not going to run out there and physically measure every single female adult in the entire world. But we can estimate that population parameter by collecting a sample and calculating a sample statistic. So the word statistic always describes a measure gathered from a sample, such as a sample mean or a sample variance. Sample statistics are very often used to estimate population parameters. Now let's look at some examples of starting with a population and then coming up with a sample that could be collected from that population. So an example population might be all people with heart disease. A possible sample that could be collected from that population might be a group of 45 people who have heart disease. This is just one possible sample that could be taken from this population. Notice that this sample has a sample size. Its sample size is 45 in this case. And of course, it's only people with heart disease because th those are the people who are in our population of interest. The sample always comes from, directly from, the population. In the second example, the population is all male students between the ages of 18 and 25. So in an example, we can grab a sample from that population of 10 male students in that age group. This is a small sample size. 10 is not considered a very large sample, and so given that small sample, the research we do just on this sample is not as accurate in estimating what it would be for the true population as it would be if we had a pretty huge sample size, like in the third example. So in this case, the population is all female nurses who have worked at least two years as a nurse. A possible sample from this population might be a group of 120,000 nurses who have worked at least two years as a nurse. And then our final example, our population might be all dogs older than age three. A possible sample from that population might be a group of 17 dogs older than age three. So again, a population represents every single person or male student or female nurse or dog or whatever entity or object you're dealing with. It's every single one of them in the particular group of interest. A sample is a collection or a subset from that population. And that's the main difference between the two. In research, we generally use samples to perform our research, and then we use the results to make inferences about the population. And the reason for that is most of the time, populations are enormous and there would be no feasible way to do research, collect data, or perform analysis on the entire population. And that is why in statistics it is generally known that sampling is used. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this overview. Join us next